Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to JC Chapel. First week, we almost finished first week of fall semester 2021-2022. Everyone's good job. And uh, we are about to listen to Word of God today. Today, um, I decided actually preparing special sermon series. It is called Super Heroes of the Bible. Heroes, but just not ordinary hero, the superhero. Superheroes of the Bible, there are so many famous characters, as you know that. As you heard, like, as you maybe heard a lot of the Bible famous people, like, for example, King David, King David, and Moses, and Samson, Judge Samson, the strongest man, and also the Moses, like, you know, strong leader and then also faithful king king david and prophet eliza brave man faithful person it's pretty much old testament and last one is apostle peter in the new testament peter one of our jesus disciples about five people we call i mean more than five people in the bible but i prepared special sermon series it is called superheroes of the bible so five people next couple times when I preach you guys, maybe a special video infection. I mean, like a lot of skills and also sounds like good chroma key effects. We prepare and you're gonna see and watch, enjoy. We make you more comfortable, you know, like a lot of good you know, laughing you're gonna have and lesson from the Bible. So we will do our best. So please come and then join and then enjoy watching, listening this sermon. Today, I'd like to talk about God's justice. Look at this one. Wow, look at a lot of good, famous superheroes. I know you guys are a big fan of probably Marvels. Marvels like, you know, Superman. Look at this. Like, you know, here, let, let, let me show you this one. Like, this guy, Iron Man. Look at this. Let me, you know, press button. Then you could see what he said there, all right? Whoa. Yeah, watch your back. Watch your back. It's just you and me, I'll try. Oh. He also is kind of like a um, lot of, you know, heart, the warm heart and also kindness. I know it's kind of, sometimes he's arrogant, but he knows how to save the people. He knows how to defend from the enemies, especially for his the families. Okay, thank you, by the way. All right, so um, Iron Man, you know, a lot of famous Marvel characters. And I'm actually the uh, big fan of um, actually DC, like Superman and also Batman. We're gonna get more actually the um, the figures and toys and comic books pretty soon. Look at this, it's a Batman, one of a DC the characters. Uh, I love actually Batman because the uh, he's kind of looks like very gentle, handsome, and rich, smart, a lot of charming, good charmings, and nighttime he becomes a superhero, you know, for the a lot of good people. They also fighting for enemies. Look at this this figures and uh one day daytime his famous businessman is like bruce wayne right bruce wayne at nighttime i know he's single but he's busy with fighting you know enemies but one day he becomes batman for justice like this oh wings up once again wings down and then press button for his justice Okay. Ah, oh, wings up. So Batman uh, is, is fighting for justice. We as a Christians, a lot of think about, you know, even the read the Bible, many, many the words about justice. Justice, especially God's justice. What does it mean justice? Is it justice means like judge, which means um, judge, decide, fighting for bad things or evil things judge a lot of you know people kind of judge 
on like maybe、um, some you know, evil, unnecessary parts. They kind of consider, oh, this is not good. Then fight him for that. So a lot of people that think about、um, this good or bad in terms of their perspectives, but the Bible clear, clearly mentioned about what the meaning of justice in God. So、uh, today, before I talk about justice, God's justice, I like to talk about my personal life story.、Um, Actually, I'm living the、um, house in a house, and I do not like some insects. I know, like, when I see、uh, God in the heaven, I have there are so many questions to ask Him. But one of the questions is this one Why, God, you created cockroach? Ooh, cockroach. Even it is hard to kill them. Somehow, there are.、Um, You know, producing so many eggs and、uh, multiplying like so many like you know little bugs, cockroaches, baby cockroaches, any places. Wow, it's like hard to kill and、uh, hard to even the、uh, you know like what is called like、uh, get rid of the all the cockroaches you know in our you know the living places. And second, the insect I really I don't like it is mosquitoes. Look at this, ah,、oh, it's kind of gross. Do you like? This mosquito actually they carry malaria, a lot of you know, kind of dirty stuff and a lot of germs and a lot of people they got infected and they get disease, especially the、um, some hot country and weather countries. Like when I went to the Amazon min- the mission trip, oh my goodness, like countless mosquitoes. My house, especially、uh, now summer season, we now technically in the fall. Wow. After I mean sun sunset time, you know after sun goes down, mosquitoes coming from the trees, coming from the mountains, coming from like kind of dirty water. Wow, so many mosquitoes! And we, I, I have actually one dog and one cat. Look at this cat! I took a picture this morning, and he was really tired. His name is Coco, and he's about to sleep. And look at this, like heavenly sleeping. He's making right now, but also at nighttime, he's really struggling with the mosquitoes. And look at this, you know, you know, left eyes. He got infected because mosquitoes. So we gave him the、uh, now medicine right now. He's taking medicine right now. It's getting better. So、uh, every morning, so I'm taking you know out every every nighttime too. So I decided in order to protect Coco, my. A、cat from mosquitoes. I bought. It's called、um, mosquito, sw- you know, electronic swat. So like even this is like electronic fly swatter. As I look at this a red, you know, circle. There's a mosquitoes. Wow, these these mosquitoes kind of strong. It's hard to kill. I want to protect because I love my pet,、It's、like cat and dog, for fighting enemies, mosquitoes. So. I spent a lot of money for that, and then now Coco nighttime. I put the electronic the swatter, and then now,、uh, if he doesn't move, actually he's really safe. And another the pet is、uh, his name is Minky. It's like、um, almost donkey, but I I love it. So every night daytime, I you know take care of this guy, and also I bought different type of the.、Uh, Electronic fly swatter, and guess what? Left side of the picture is the、uh, was the mosquito net. So I made make this one the tent, protect my dog nighttime from countless mosquitoes. Woo! Like every night, in order to install as a mosquito net the tent, what I did almost 35 Celsius, 37 Celsius temperature. I put the sweater. JC sweater and put the, the you know like hat and bicycle you know gloves because so many mosquitoes trying to bite any you know my skin and you know suck to my blood. So once again, every night we fighting the mosquitoes every day for my beloved you know pets, Coco and、uh, Minky. King David, before he became. The servant king of Israel. He was, you know, quite ordinary person and a very little guy. 
and this kind of weak person physically, and this kind of youngest person among his brothers, his family. But one day, what the Bible, 1 Samuel chapter 17, 8 to 26, what the Bible said, Goliath, as you know that, the giant, giant from the Philistine, the stood and the shouted a taunt across the, to the Israelites. Why are you call all the coming out to fight? He called, and I am the Philistine champion, but you are only the servants of Saul. Choose one man to come down here and find me. If he kills me, then we will be your slaves. But if he, if I kill him, you will be our slaves. Wow, what a brave comments and brave proclamation and then arrogant probably attitude and the message. And verse 10, I defy the armies of Israel today. Send me a man who will find me. You know, when Saul and the uh, Israelites heard this, they were terrified and deeply shaken. Defy means what? Fighting against. So Goliath, he had no fear. He was confident because he was the dominant physically. He's really the strongest person at the time in the probably world. So when he talk about, when he criticized, when we uh, judge, when you con the condemned Israelites and even God and David, little person, shepherd, he heard what he said. And he, he was quite confident to say that. David asked the soldiers standing nearby, what will a man get for killing this Philistine and ending his defiance of Israel? Who is this pagan Philistine anyway that he is allowed to defy the armies of the living God? Wow, what a great, brave, even fearless is a message, the confession to the uh, you know people of Israel, even King Saul and also Goliath. It means when David heard about the what Goliath mess, you know, the message he spoke, he had this one. It is called discontent. Discontent means what? Somehow complaining, somehow not happy, somehow kind of anger. He's angry, he got angry, and then what? He wants to say some more. He wants to fight something. He wants to you know, protect his people from the enemies. And the Bible mentioned about, it's not just complaining or not just mention, not comments, not just it is called discontent, it is called holy discontent, which means what? For God, for God's justice, for God's people, for God's kingdom, he had holy discontent. He was angry, not for himself. He was angry you know, for God. Why? Because he want to pro proclaim and also protect, once again, glorify God's name in the battle, even though he is younger. It's holy discontent. So that's why chapter 17, verse 26, David bravely mentioned, proclaimed that, who is this pagan Philistine anyway? That he is allowed to defy the armies of the living God. Wow. Little guy, little guy, little shepherd. The very not well trained any of the armies, you know, training, but he was very brave. Let me ask this question. Like kind of David, when you heard about some unnecessary, like bad things from your friends, from your neighbors, maybe yourself, maybe in, in from, from your internal you know, heart, like maybe temptation, something complaining, maybe some not you know, proper words, some bad words, then what is your holy discontent in that situation? Once again, 
What is your holy discontent for God's justice? God's justice. We all like to encourage you guys. You could think about your life. You as a Christian, the person who follows God and trying to listen to the word of God. Having holy discontent. When? When you're going to say, when you're going to proclaim, when you're going to fight, when you're going to do something for God, it is called Ten Commandments. God, He clearly give us the message, what we have to follow, remember in our lives. There are so many messages. There are so many commandments. Especially, particularly, the most important commandments, it is called Ten Commandments. You guys know that. I know that. But let, let me remind you. Let's keep in mind this one. Let's practice in our life. First one, put God first. No matter what happened in your life, maybe studies, maybe first, first, maybe college first, your money is first, your mom and dad first, your friends first. Not really, not, not true. Your first thing is God. Put God first. No matter what. Second thing is do not make fake gods, which means worshiping idols idols means what the thing that you like more than god i'm sorry i have to say that if you like bts more than god the bts is your idol you may remember all the names of the bts members and then you follow the bts all songs or lyrics but somehow you don't remember jesus disciples names 12 disciples names somehow you don't remember 10 commandments each the message then I would like to encourage you guys. Remember what God spoke to us, command us. Holy discontent. How to we could keep in mind this one? Read the Bible. Memorize the Bible, especially Ten Commandments, and then try to apply. Do not love something more than God because it will be your idols, fake gods. Number three, respect God's name. All the time, respect God's name. Holy God's name, His is holy, righteous, and a great person. Number four, respect God's day of rest, which means Sunday, Sabbath. We worship the Lord, especially go to church and worship with the read the Bible and then singing worship songs. Respect. Keep in mind this one. Sunday is a rest day, physically, spiritually, and also get recharged to move on next brand new week. To glorify our God, it is called respect God's day of rest. Number five, respect your parents. Parents are number one, the people in a, in a while living on this planet, respect, follow, obey. What they said, we gotta listen. What they even ask, we gotta do it. What, what they command us, we gotta keep in mind this one in respect that do it. Number six, do not kill people. Killing means like physically, probably you're gonna attack. And also spiritually too. When you say someone, but but it hurts someone, it damages someone, that means a killing. And we gotta keep in mind, be careful to say, be careful to act, be careful to even judge, be careful to even mention, and also spiritually. And also you are just praying, but not just judging, condemn, condemning someone. It's, that's the another way to kill people. And number seven, respect marriage promises promise even though you haven't get married got married keep in mind this one you promise god to do something in your life if you get married keep in mind this one you promise in your marriage that's the marriage promise between you and your wife but you and god so that's really important the promises number eight do not steal Steal means what well, something you want to steal from someone's properties. So um, this is a promise also between you and God. And stealing maybe from even hearts too. Someone you hurt, but you steal some, someone's heart. It's like you have to be careful to say and act as well. And not, number nine, do not lie. Be honest. Sincere message, sincere heart. You are treating people and saying some some words in, in the name of Christ. Last one is, do not be jealous. Do not compare. Do not jealous. Why? Because 
be a jealous because so many think that uh, you could just uh, maybe not happy. You may compare to someone maybe richer than you, smarter than you, better than you, your life, something. But God made you as what? Unique, special, and you know, precious. You're the only one that you know, God created you in this entire world. So you're a very special person. Do not compare, which means respect, love, what God has given you, what God made you as yourself. Once again, we're learning about God's justice and superheroes of the Bible. Today, now is the time you could become God's hero. Why? God made you superhero. You could help others, listen to their some help, and also approach them and pray for them. You know, in your Bible class time, even your class time, in your life, in on campus, and where every place you go, you could become, represent God's messenger and his superhero. Let's become God's superhero today, today and then forever. Let's bow heads. Jesus, we thank you so much for this message. And what a great message and what a good lesson we learned. Make us your superhero. To glorify your name and to become your salt and light influential contagious christians in our lives every day lord and a lot of witnesses we do have please be with us give us your strength knowledge and spirit faith and we could become your servants and it is called superhero thank you i pray in jesus name amen